Hey there guys, I hope all is going well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to chroma key and how to luma key and what those two things are all about. Now basically luma key means light. Um, so white and black colors are always going to be done with luma key and chroma key, which is for color key, um, is going to be done with all colors from red to purple to blue, whatever else. So the first thing you want to do is uh, with chroma key, so whoa, that was loud. You're gonna need some um, green screen footage, and it, this always uh, it's gonna go on video layer two, uh, so that you can put the picture of your background beneath it. And I'm just gonna render render this out. And I don't know about you guys, but I like my backgrounds of delicious candies like this one. So we're gonna take that and put that on the video layer one. So make sure the green screen clip in the background are the same length so that you don't have one of the clips bleeding over. Once that's done, um, you want to select the original green screen clip, hit C to bring up the crop tool, and you can kind of see the edges around here, the lime edges. You want to take these and crop them down as far as you can to try to eliminate any of the green around him, just so that there's no fluctuation when you're trying to key it out. So, as you can see, my actor doesn't move very much. He brings up his arm, but that's about it. So, just try to crop this down as far as you can. And once you're done with that, open that up, or select it, make sure it's selected. Go to Video Filters, Key, and then hit Chroma Key. Here. And this is going to bring up a new tab over here called Chroma Key. Chroma Key. Select that, and then just bring up the green a little bit. And uh, try to get all the green as far as you can done. Uh, all the all the green out this first uh, on the color bar. Then move it down to saturation, and just bring up the saturation slightly. Don't go too far down here into the darker end, because that's uh, gonna kind of like eat away at your actor like this. Usually it does. I can see like his shoulders are gone. That's not good. So bring it up just enough so that he's all there, but it helps get rid uh, get rid of some of the green. Make sure the uh, luma key is all selected too, um, just because it's gonna key out all the color that all the co color contrast in your key. Now that looks pretty good, amazingly. As you can see, there's a little bit of green still around the edges, and to get rid of that, you wanna go down to edge thin. And always start from the top and work your way down. That's usually how it works best. So bring up the edge thin a little bit. That's just going to cut away at the edges of the actor. But be careful it doesn't start eating away at your actor itself. Or him and herself, whatever. So about there looks good. And then also bring up the softening just a little bit so that the edges don't look too pixely. Alright, that looks pretty good enough for tutorial purposes. Let's bring him back down to the size. Let's make sure he's lined up with whatever he's supposed to be resting on. I'll just say it right there. And that's how you chroma key the basic version. Uh, for chroma keying, you're going to need two things. You're going to need green screen and some very good lighting. And what this is going to allow, to, uh, allow you to do is have a full lit actor as well as a background. So it is in, uh, easy to distinguish between the, between the actor and the green screen. And that'll make it a lot easier to come key if you have good lights. I have just little um, store bought twenty dollar lights that I use. I have two of them, and usually whatever lights are also in the room, if there's like little lamps on the sides, um, I usually try to turn those on just to make everything well lit. Or if there's a window nearby and it's a sunny day, those work great. All right, and now moving on to Luma King. A lot of uh, effects that I showed you in my special effects episode tutorial um, usually have a black or a white background and I've, uh, I've had a lot of questions of how do you key that out or like it doesn't work or whatever and that's common it's a little bit uh, more difficult than chroma keying so as we can see here here's our clip I'm just gonna put it on top of the original um, chroma keying clip just so that we can distinguish between the actual clip in the background so first off make sure that is selected Come up here to Effects, Video Filters, Key, and then hit Luma Key. 
Usually these are only going to be one by default because effect availability will only be on recommended effects. I have uh, all effects turned on, so I recommend doing that. Uh, video filters, key, and then second luma key. Now, if you just hit that, obviously, well not obviously, but as you can see, a lot of the white is keyed out. And that's because if we go come over here to filters, the key mode is set to key out the brighter. Well, if we can hit that and hit key out darker, it's going to key, uh, key out all the darker colors, like the black. So we can see brighter, darker. So if you're going to have a white background, use key out brighter, black background, key out darker, you get the idea. Um, so after that, we can see that now, um, yes, we have the flame or explosion or whatever it is. Uh, but if we look at it closely, it kind of looks fake, kind of a little bit misty, a little bit um, transparent, I guess. So uh, a good way to overcome this is to select it, hit Command C to copy, and then put a, uh, put the playhead a little bit further, and hit Control V, and I'll just paste it uh, an exact an exact replica. And then after that, take the original clip. And we're going to put it on top of this clip, so we're going to have a total of four video layers. So bring it up and right on top of the um, original explosion or flame. Um, so as you can see, now the flame itself looks a lot more, um, I don't know the word, but colorful and not fake. Alright, so here is it without one, or with only one. Here is it with um, two. So we can see the colors are a lot more vibrant a lot um, stands out a lot more and so that was my tutorial on chroma keying and luma keying if you guys enjoyed this please subscribe I'm going to be making a lot more of these in the near future if you have any questions or comments leave them below and I'll be more more than happy to answer them and please check out my website medievalhollywood.tk thanks so much for watching and yeah have fun enjoy your day